and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about everything right here. Well, from this. I will have another video going over wheels, controls, thrusters, rockets, lasers, that kind of stuff. That's going to be different. Right now, we're just going to go to the basics of codes, or actions, as I would like to call them. After all, that's literally what they're called. So, let's start with the basics. The first thing is black, obviously, and then the, the it, ah, excuse me, blocksters can come with these three things, as well as this stuff right here. Jump is just jumping. Very basic. Stay is stay. He just stands still. He just, it's useful if you want to restrict certain things. Cam turn, basically he turns away from the camera. That way if you're trying to make games where you're trying to aim or anything like that, you can do that too. These are buttons, which means that, let's say if you put in an up arrow button, and you press the I button, it will press it. But of course, it doesn't do anything. So let's put a jump here. So if you press I, you jump. That's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. So that's what the buttons do. And basically any, so basically these two sides. This side is where the action goes. Like for example, you press a button or you do a certain movement. And this side, the right side, is what happens when you do it. It says right here, what does it do? The arrow does tells you everything. These are movement controls. Mover is restrictive just to blocksters, as well as animated ones. And it just basically moves them around. What this does, it's let's say that if you move your loop mover to the right, it will make him jump. So nothing happens here, but as soon as I press D, I start jumping. That's pretty much what it does. You can also, also, if you see this tiny little symbol that looks like a gear, you can actually adjust it. Not all of them are like this, though. If you see this little blue arrow, that means you can change it by tapping on it. Tilt is basically a mover, but this is a computer, so it doesn't work. But if you have a device, a mobile device, you can just tilt your device and it'll make a move. Then let's get to this section. This is mostly a does, for example. So tap is basically just tapping on the object that has the code. Hold is holding it. Hit block is hitting another block, not the surface right here, but let's say another blockster. So let's say that when he hits another block, he will break apart. He doesn't break right here, but when I hit him against this other blockster, he explodes. Well, passively. Let's get rid of him. Hit surface applies to blocks and the ground. Water is in water. Hit land is this, this stuff right here. They're completely different things. And what these three things are right here is that if you have, wait, if you have water, fire, or gas emitters, that's what these are. If the if this blockster gets hit by any of these, like gets get hit by gas, which is the green one, he will do whatever you assigned him to do. Next is hit by laser. And like I said before, we'll go over lasers. So basically tells you what this can do. Hit arrow, you need to have a specific weapon. There's only two in existence that can actually be affected. It is the flitlock pistol and the crossbow. These are really rare items, so you don't want to bother thinking about these until the very far future. They're really rare. You can get them from the lucky prize wheel. It's a chance though. Attacked, this only works when you're an anime blockster. So basically, these are attacks for an anime blockster, and if this gets attacked by an anime blockster, it will do its command. Teleported is when it gets teleported by a teleporter. Blocking is when it's blocking. Attacking is when it's attacking. On play is like right when you start the game. Slower and faster. I actually haven't done these yet, but it'd be good to experiment with them. Next is the orange section, which is a lot. This is invincible, which means that it's immune to all attacks, all lasers, all explosions. Well, not immune to lasers, but basically these they can't break apart. They can't explode from explosion. They can smash, but they can't explode. These two just freeze it in air. So if I just put freeze... He cannot move at all. 
Unfreeze undoes that. Chip off, it just breaks certain parts off by a certain amount. So if, in, with this radius, if you put it in a bigger model, everything in this radius will break off. Smash is, well, smash. Explode is the same thing as smash, but it's a lot more dramatic. Detach is detach just one object, depending on which one has this command. Mute is remove all sounds that come off of this thing, except for maybe it's footprints. Appear and uh, hide, if you put it as hide, he'll disappear. And appear is when, when there's a hiding object and you can just make it reappear. And here's a little a fun little thing. If you, you can actually put some of these commands on the other side, which means that if he is appeared, like he's physical right now, he's not hiding, he will do this. And, and notice that these, there's that. So if you see that little blue arrow, it tells you you can tap on it and change its setting. Speak is just speak. He says a text bubble. And another bonus, if you put a square bracket and close that off with another square bracket, there we go. It has a blue button. What does that mean? It will, this thing will not go away until you press enter on the computer or tap the button yourself with your mouse or your finger. It depends on what device you're using. Sparkle is pretty self-explanatory. You can actually adjust what kind of color it emits, which can be nice for making particles in certain games. Collect is when you collect an item. I'll go over that later. And these, these are kind of messy. You shouldn't really worry about these. These control its physics. Mass is how much it weighs and how much it pulls down. Friction is basically how much it slides across the floor while it's playing. Bounce, it bounces. Buoyancy is how well it floats. And Phantom is where it can go any other objects. And if it's a solid, it doesn't go through any other objects. So if these are really self-explanatory. Blocks World, or the developers of Blocks World, made it, did a really good job with explaining how these things work by giving them a name and showing them what they do. Very easy to understand. And also, you can just experiment with yourself. That's what you should always do. That's how you ex experience the game. Follow is basically it follows the object that has the command on it. Set Angle is the same thing, but it's specifically to an angle. So if he's facing this way, he will face that way. You can also rotate it. Next is first person, which is pretty self-explanatory. Only blocksters can use this, and ended blocksters can use it as well. HUD, it just designs how your HUD looks, just that little thing right there. You can make it into a square, what is that, square hot crosshair, a point, basically you can make it look like it's some sort of first person shooter, and there's all sorts of variants, just like four types. <coughs> Tilt camera. Well, it's just tilting the camera. These are not really that important. You don't need to worry about these. This is win, lose, or finish. These are just ways to end games. Finish, it just does like a, the end. These two are doing yes you win, yes you lose, that kind of thing. Integers are very weird for new experience, for new players. I recommend it for experienced players. And I'll even do a video just specifically about these guys. Wait is just how long the command will do. And, and also, there's a diff there's actually a big difference between these two. This one is kind of randomized. What I mean by that is, you see the dice right there? It kind of goes somewhere in between. So if I go to 5 seconds, it will be between 0 to 5 seconds. It can be in the, anywhere there. That's what the dice is for. But when it does, with the one without the dice, it's specifically to that number you put in. It can go up to milliseconds, seconds, and minutes. That's how long you can adjust it. You can add more on top of each other, so you can make it even longer, but I don't know why you need to do that. Sleep, it's just how long it sleeps. Basically, it just it's kind of like shut off, but it's not permanent. Shut off literally turns the entire thing off. It just poof, gone, bye-bye. And you can't, and there's no on feature, so if you if something shuts off, it's gone forever. Signal, signal's a bit more weird, or complex, I mean. Just a little bit. So let's say that if we tap on this guy, it'll do an A signal, which has a globe on it. You can do it to model or globe. The difference is that mo globe goes to everywhere in the world, and model is just specifically to the model right here. And let's say that when you do A, this blockster will explode. So I just stand here, tap on it, and he explodes and dies. Well, he didn't die, he's, just fine. he's fine. Don't worry about him, he's completely fine. 
All right, what else do we have to cover? The final things right here. Custom is just your own custom signal. You can name it whatever you want, like lol. That you can identify your model, or <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> your signals better. This is loot. So let's. So if he has, if he's loot, he's loot. That means anyone can pick it up. And tags are a fun part. Tags are very useful for a lot of things. And what? Let's say that this guy is a hero tag, and this guy is assigned to chase that tag. And let's make, let's allow us to control this guy. So this guy right here, he'll chase this tag, which is the hero tag. And you can just run away from him. And he'll just keep coming after you until, yeah. So basically, um, this right here is the objective panel. That's what I would call it. Because they do the objective. So if there's some, in fact, if they do something wrong, it's mostly not a glitch, but because you probably did an error. I, it turns out that glitches are really rare here. I mean, there's a few here and there, but the glitch, if there's something wrong, it's probably because you just messed up. I mean, seriously, like, glitches are very rare in this game. So even though this game is where you can build literally anything you want, the only only limit is how many blocks you have and how creative you are. Other than that, there's no limit. Seriously. Like, there's no block limit or anything. Like, you can play, if you have infinite shields, like I do, I can place them everywhere, forever, if I want to. The only difficulty is that my computer will take up all that space because uh, there are three things to worry about when you're making something. How much space you have, how many blocks you have, and how much creativity you have. That's really like the only limit of the entire game. It's pretty insane. And you can even save models too. So that's basically the basics. And also, if you're not selecting anything, this the actions won't appear. So that means if you have to select something, with, you can tell it's selected if you see that white highlight right there, it'll appear. Sounds function just like commands, except they play. Although, to be honest, they don't, I mean, it works, kind of like the rest of them, but they all play sounds. Unfortunately, you can't adjust how loud they are, so you just have to, if you just have to stick with it. So, I unlocked some of these, so you don't always, you don't get all of them. Maybe if you have the PC version, but other than that, you don't just get all these. These are blockster sounds, troll sounds, basically you can just look at the name and what they look like. It tells you everything. So there's all sorts of sounds you can use. Also, and I didn't even get the set for these. I, the computer just gave it to me. So did this. So each one has its own sound and everything. That's basically how they work. Now I would go over blocks and all that, but that's different. These are what make things unique. Because you can... Heck, you can do this. You can make a blockster out of nothing but legs and a cube. Seriously, these guys kind of function the same way. So, you can have any blocks, and in fact, you can... Even cubes and other blocks can do all this stuff, too. Of course, they cannot actually do anim like blockster movements, and there's no mover, unlike the blockster. So, pretty much everything in this game can do something, except for the terrain that it comes with. You cannot select any of this at all. But you can color it, of course. So let's get yellow. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. And in case you're wondering how did I color it so quickly instead of individually picking it up and putting it in, if you use the PC version and you have a color right here and you press comma, it'll select it. So let's say I have orange and I press comma and it, it colors whatever I'm looking at. Isn't that magical? Of course, only you can only do this on PC, unfortunately. But you don't need to. Because, well, it's pretty easy to do it yourself. Oh no. Hold on. I just realized that these look like carrots a little bit. Just a little. But other than that, I think that's all I need to show you about commands and anything special like that. That's basically how actions work. I'll go over videos of these things, these things, these things. <laughs> I'll go over those in separate videos. Because I, that, if I put them all here right now, this would be a really long video. There's a lot of stuff in this game. But luckily, if you play it enough and you actually play the game, you can easily come along and learn basics really easily. Trust me, personal experience and other people's experience, I guess. Trust me, just, just play the game and you'll be just fine. Ex just play with it. That's how you have fun in games. Well, most of them. And I glitched the water. But that's okay.
I sure hope this answered anyone's questions. This video is mostly for someone who asked a question, and I assume this video would help them, because other than that, they should just play the game. You don't need to be, you don't need to always do tutorials, but if you are in a pickle, just look up tutorials, like my tutorials. I put up a lot of them, because I love this game a lot. It deserves a lot of, well, a lot more than it gets. Unfortunately, there, the reason why there's no updates is, well, because Linden, the developers, haven't really gotten any money off of this game, so they're taking a break off of it. But we don't need an update. The game is completely fine on its own right now. And if there's glitches and stuff, they're completely avoidable. So, yeah. I sure hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.